blade goes in, sweep the tongue. Advanced paramedic Tim May describes how to intubate a patient, a procedure paramedics now perform when needed. Somebody who's really, really sick and I need to definitively protect that airway, I can phone a doctor and say, I've got this guy, I want to protect his airway. Just one of the new roles they've taken on in the last 10 years. Our protocols have changed by leaps and bounds. Not only the skills we can perform, uh, but the medications we can use. And now we're actually a self-regulated profession like the doctors, nurses, lawyers, teachers. The city has proclaimed this Paramedics Week in Prince Albert. May 24th to 30th. CEO of Parkland Ambulance says today paramedics bring the emergency room to your doorstep. They can dispense medication and use new cardiac arrest and CPR machines. The machines that we have, the defibrillators, the Lucas, everything that we have is going to be done on scene that will be done in the emergency department. So that's how much it's changed and from symptom relief drugs to, to morphine to gravel to Entonox to you name it, it's the, the paramedics have come a long, long ways. Along with the recognition week, five employees were honored with the Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan's military service pins. Tim May is a Sergeant Medical Technician with the Canadian Armed Forces who served overseas. Pat Belziel, Keegan Mitchell, Rennie Dillero and Mike Danzero were also honored. I uh, spent some time with uh, Hugh Cairns Armories in Saskatoon and the North Saskatchewan Regiment in Prince Albert here before I took my EMS training. It symbolizes the gratitude of the Crown and people for those who have served. The pin is intended to be worn on civilian clothing so members of the public can recognize them when not in service. Opportunity When we seen there was that opportunity for that pin, we jumped on it very much to make sure that they realize how much we appreciate it too. For Shaw, I'm Lisa Rizm.